Hi. <laughs> Today we are getting Starbucks right now. Okay, no. In our last video, we talked a bit. Oh God, is there a, is there a bee? Oh, it's a fly. Oh my, Emily, why'd you freak out? It landed on my face. We talked a bit. Oh. In our last video, we talked about vintage frames, right? Everybody in the world wants cool, artsy, indie, vintage vibes, right? Um, not everyone. And the only way to achieve that is to make sure that what's on your walls looks dope. We have done the work for you guys and we found some really cool stuff and maybe make like a website or something. I think you guys will like it. Okay, anyways, so we're at Starbucks now. We gotta get our drinks. What's your Starbucks order? Tell them. Come on, Emily, tell them. Hurry, tell them. Well, I don't really like them. Um, I'm kind of tired of Starbucks, to be honest, because I don't like their almond milk, and I don't drink dairy, but I usually just get an iced latte with soy milk, and like, well, right now I'm getting chestnut pralines. My go-to is iced vanilla soy with pumpkin cold foam. Decaf. Decaf, but I need to get caffeinated so I can get hype for the video. Hype for the video. Hype for the video. Hype for the video. Okay, now it's 11, so we're gonna go get Chick fil A because I don't want we can't. Chick fil A! It's always what you want. What do you want? Anything but Chick fil A. Mod pizza? Four cheese? No, oh, we had that yesterday. You just said anything but Chick fil A, so I'm giving options that aren't Chick fil A that you're saying no to. Chick fil A. I can roll with that. Actually, no, I don't want that. P. Terry's. No, that's not healthy. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I don't even know what that's from. The notebook. I guess Chick-fil-A. Gentlemen, this is how you get your way. When your lady says that she doesn't want that, what, whatever it is that you want, you name a bunch of other things that she wouldn't want either, and then it'll be too hard to decide, and she'll go back to the original option. Play smarter, not harder. When you first met me, on a scale of 1 to 10, how attractive was I? 6. 6. Just kidding. I was a 10, right? What about now? <laughs> I've been a 10, still a 10, 10, 11. Guys, there's a huge pit bull that just pulled up next to me. Oh, it looks so cute. That is not a pit bull. Any dog that just looks mean, I call it a pit bull. Sorry. What's your number one biggest regret with getting married <laughs> with getting married at 20 years old? I don't know. What about number one like best thing about marriage and being married young? Just living life with you. <laughs> oh, that dog has three legs. Oh, he's just hopping around. Where's my leg? I don't have a leg. So what about you? What's your biggest regret? My biggest regret with getting married was probably seeing you sad that your parents weren't there. Yeah, that was like, that was kind of tough. But it was all God's plan because we now live in Austin and we have a great community here. It would not have happened if we didn't get married. Like everything that's happened, either good or bad or not how we expected turned out to literally just work out we're gonna make up for it with a one year anniversary celebra ce celebration <laughs> celebration in arkansas so i'm excited arkansas. for that and we're going for thanksgiving like in two days okay what's something you've had to like oh gosh my sandwich fell in the crack oh, no. no what has been a challenge in our in our marriage so far like like i was so used to like living for myself and like doing my thing and now that we're married i have to like <laughs> think about think your about husband you. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like everything we do now has to go through a filter after you eat chick-fil-a and drink this it tastes like peanut butter it literally tastes like a peanut butter cookie look take a sip of that doesn't it taste like peanut butter uh-uh <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go to a parking garage where we take a lot of photos. We're gonna go there and take photos of Emily. <laughs> we're gonna go there and take photos of the frame that are in the store that are linked below. So, off we go. So, we're just like setting up pictures, and making them look nice, and we're taking pictures of them. Well, we didn't get much footage of us taking photos just because. We were using the camera. Yeah, we were using the camera. But I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and edit them, maybe get a, the Instagram account going while Emily goes to thrift in antique. Anything you wanna say? Since I'm the funny one and you're the calm and collected one? Um, no. 
I don't have anything to say. I hope you guys like the frames because I really like them and I don't want to get rid of them. That's true. Emily wanted to keep literally all of them. And I'm just thinking when we get like a house eventually we have like a whole white like wall or like a hallway and just like have a bunch of random like pictures everywhere. That would be so cool. So we should hoard all the pictures until we get a house which probably won't happen for the next five years. Because they're so unique. They're like one of a kind. Like unique New York? Anyways. But I would love to share them with you. Guys, she doesn't. Yes, I do. Okay, bye. You have not seen us since earlier today. We launched our vintage little interior store thing. And right now, all we have is frames. That's what we're focusing but on we're first. we're gonna have more. We're gonna have cool chairs, pull. cool tables. Pull. We could post books. Pull, 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 pull. I found this pillow. Jeez. Clean it up. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> what are you actually making? Applesauce. Ooh, is there cinnamon in there? Frame number one. Actually, I'm not gonna show you. Just go to the Instagram page if you want to cop. Hey guys, what's up? It's us again. So... I'm Edgar. I'm Emily. And I'm Edgar. So... And this is Em and Ed. <laughs> number one, we're talking about launching our new store. So excited. It's up now. Number two, we're leaving tomorrow morning for a nine hour road trip to my family for Thanksgiving. We have to clean, we have to go to Trader Joe's to get snacks. Well, we don't have to get snacks. We do. We have so much food. We literally don't. No, we have snacks, just wait right there. We have frozen hot dogs. That's probably what he's gonna bring. You're gonna tell me we don't have snacks when this bag of carrots is sitting in the refrigerator. Exhibit A, exhibit B, hot dog. We literally have hot dogs. Okay, you want me to just eat a frozen hot dog on the way to It's Arkansas? It's actually fine, so they'll be softer. So anyways, we don't have groceries, so we need to go to Trader Joe's to get snacks for the road trip. Follow come us. on guys, come along. Follow us along. Come on, vamanos. Everybody, let's go. Come on, let's get to it. We get it, you're a singer. All right guys, we're at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. I love you, Trader Joe's. And if it's quite all right. Hey y'all. So we're gonna give a little Trader Joe's haul. These are our top favorite snacks. Waka flocka. First, this popcorn. This is my personal. This is my personal favorite. Listen, listen, it's good. It's got a nice salty texture. It's extra virgin olive oil. It saves itself for marriage because it hasn't been opened. Okay. These are my favorite cookies ever. You can say that again. I literally eat these all the time. All yeah. the time. All the time. If you guys haven't tried these, I highly recommend. Wow. So these we have not had. They are mini gingerbread people. These we have never had before, but I wanted something a little salty. So salty, so sweet, so sour. Sea salted saddle potato crisps. That's a mouthful. And then I saw this on TikTok and I wanted to get it. I didn't it. see you grab that. <laughs> you sneaky. I did not see you grab that. It's a chocolate orange. What the frick? You like break it open and it comes out in like little pieces like an orange. What, where did you, when did you grab that? When did you grab that? Don't worry about it. Did me. you have it in your hand or something like the whole time? I was aware of everything in the basket. I didn't see that. And then our friends Lily and Devin introduced us to these and they were delicious so we got some chocolate caps. Meow. Can't believe you snuck that orange. Help. 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 Why'd you leave the cookies out of the bag? Oh, I didn't mean to. I don't know. So now that we are done at Trader Joe's, we are going to go to a coffee shop. Do we go to the coffee shop? What are we gonna do now? I have to edit a video. I have to edit this video. So... So... We can vlog us packing. We can vlog us getting dinner. Wait, we're going out to eat dinner? Well, we don't have food here. We have food here. So we didn't eat at home, did we? Nope. Why? Because we have carrots and all that. <laughs> Got that right! So it's two doubles, two fries, so a diet coke, and an Oreo shake. Yep, we've literally eaten out every day. We had Chick-fil-A yesterday, Torchies yesterday, Yolo. Torchies today. We had Starbucks both days. 
Do not pull up YouTube. Oh, no, watch something. Beach, I'm trying to do the outro of this video. Okay, let's do it. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. This video is already like 10 minutes long. Yeah, and I want to put our best foot forward. I like 13 and 14 minutes, so watch time and ad revenue. All right, guys, well, we're gonna pack. It's it's really getting late, even though it's only 8 p.m. We will see you guys in the next video, which will be road tripping nine hours to Arkansas. See y'all later. Bye. Come back now, you hurt? <laughs> you hurt?